Hi everybody, I have a two-year-old male Shih Tzu here. He just got his bath and I'm going to finish blow drying him and I'm going to show you how I cut his hair today. He is almost dry, so I'm going to start off with my 30 blade and shave out the pads of his feet. Shih Tzus grow hair in the pads of their feet, and they can get really hairy. So it's good to keep this hair shaved out so their feet stay clean and they don't track in all the dirt out of your yard into your house. See how nice and clean his foot is now? All that hair is gone. And then I'm going to come back with my little scissors and trim up between his toes. All right, I have the fan going here to help dry his face, but he's pretty much dry. So I'm going to get started with a number three blade all over. He's got to look really good today. I make personalized coffee mugs that the owners can buy with their dog's picture on them. So he's getting a coffee mug with his picture on it when I'm done with his grooming. So he's got to look really cute for his picture. Shih Tzus aren't like beagles or Labrador retrievers. Shih Tzus grow hair everywhere. And if you don't keep the hair shaved out from underneath their butt, their hair gets filled with poo-poo. It gets matted under here. So you really want to keep this shaved out. I already shaved his belly out with a tin blade. Any dog like this, a poodle, a cocker spaniel, it gets really dirty and messy back here. So we just shave these out, these dogs out with a tin blade. The whole private area. The inside of the back legs, you shave all this out. Because you got to think when they pee, they pee all over themselves and they get stuck in their hair. So every, I would say, month to two months, this whole end needs grooming. Saving the base of his tail with a seven blade. Just about an inch of his tail so it stays clean back here and gives it a little bit of a style. You can see where it's shorter right here where he goes to the bathroom and then it gets long. I have his tail brushed out, so I'm just going to comb it all down and trim up underneath. Just going to take a little bit off. I think his mother probably likes a longer tail. And she comes on a six-week schedule, so he's never matted. So I will leave it longer. <laughs> if I think the dog is going to come back all matted, I tend to go shorter. You see him trying to pull his tail away? You see that little kink in it? He's, he's trying to pull it away. So I just hold on. And do it real fast. Okay, his whole body is done. His tail is trimmed up. His potty area is shaved out with a tin blade. All of his feet are trimmed up, and I'm working my way around to this last foot over here. Let me just get my scissors, my little scissors, my big scissors. 
He thinks I'm talking to him. I'm not talking to you. Calm down. I got my comb. I got my brush. Let me clean it out. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, I'm just going to trim up this foot and cut his nails. And I'm going to open a window because it is getting hot in here. All right. Okay, I just brushed his ears out. Now I'm going to get my curved scissors, if I can find them, right here, and trim his ears up. I'm trying to get my comb and comb it all down. His ears do not lay flat, so they're very hard to get even. They kind of they have a fold in the middle, so very hard to get them even. See right here, I don't know if you can tell, this, it's like it's creasing right here. You see that? Naturally. So there's a big dent. So these ears, he moves them around, they're, they're just not going to be even. So if you ever get your dog home from the groomers and they look totally even, it's probably because they don't lay flat. They, they pop and they fold, you know. Especially mixed breed dogs, they might have one ear that's folded back and the other one lays flat towards the front. And you're never going to get that even. And plus, look, he won't pick his head up. <laughs> he's got his head straight down and I, I can't see what I'm doing. Even though he's very excited about what I'm saying, I still can't see what I'm doing. I've been grooming 30 years and I haven't figured out, still haven't figured out how to make their ears even. It's very difficult. Unless there's something I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Before I clean his ears out, I'm going to go ahead and shave the inside of his ears out with a 30 blade. See how hairy it gets in here? I'm going to shave all around the ear, the ear hole and then clean his ears out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and trim his eyes up. I got my curved scissors. And comb his hair all down, his bang. Comb it all down. And trim right across the front. Flip him back the other direction. And trim the sides. I think his mother said to leave the eyelashes. He doesn't really have any eyelashes. He's got a couple little strands there. So, let's see what I can leave. It's not going to be much. He's got all these. So, you got to be careful when you, when you trim Shih Tzu's eyes because they have folds of skin in here and you do not want to snip that skin. They'll never trust you again after that. They won't let you near their eyes. I'm just going to pull it all out. See, if I pull the skin back tight like this, if you're lucky, the hairs will they'll all pop out. But you've got to watch that tongue. That tongue is fast. Okay. 
He's ready to go. I'm just going to spray him down with some conditioner. This is a number three blade all over. It's not too short. Still a little fluffy. And I'm going to get some water and wipe out his eyes. And I still have to take a picture for his mug. Y'all want to see my mugs I make? My uh, Valentine, I have Valentine's Day mugs now. So he can get his, his picture on his Valentine mug from his grooming day when his hair is perfect. My dog is my Valentine. There is me, as an example, washing a Rottweiler. And there's hearts on the side. And we have some Valentine's chocolate on the back. And his name's going to go here. So I got to get a really good picture. So you can be on the front of the mug so your mother can drink coffee with your picture. Going to go ahead and dress him up. I make bandanas for all the dogs that are groomed here. This is a tie-on and it has a little green bow. He's excited. See his tail? He likes his bandana. All right. This is an extra small because he is an extra small Shih Tzu. All right. Tell everybody thanks for watching and we're going to take your picture so you can have a pretty mug. Say bye-bye.